You've just submitted your work for publication, but now your journal has asked for your figures in vector format. Not sure how to create that type of file or even what it is? We can help. Vector-based files are graphics files that store the lines, shapes, and colors that make up an image as a mathematical formula. Meaning, first, the user can directly edit the text, lines, and colors that make up this type of graphic without having to redraw the entire image once it has been saved. And second, the resolution of vector files is nearly limitless. These types of files can be exported or printed at very large sizes, such as for posters, without decreasing the quality of their appearance. An editable vector-based file type is best suited for line art and text-based files, such as graphs, diagrams, and digital illustrations. The best formats in which to save vectors that will appear in a manuscript are EPS and PDF, the gold standards among journals and publishers due to their direct editability and nearly infinite resolution. However, one downside of saving figures and figure parts in this format is that they can be difficult to view and edit without specialized software, such as Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Illustrator. They can be opened and viewed in Adobe Acrobat, but not Adobe Reader. Alternatively, these files can be viewed by inserting them into a Microsoft Word or PowerPoint file. But keep in mind that this method will cause the files to be displayed at a low resolution that is not representative of the original file. One final note about saving vector files. While it is possible to save your vector in an image or pixel-based format, such as TIFF, PNG, or JPEG, it is highly recommended that you always keep an original copy in its native or vector-based format. Once a vector file is saved as an image, that image file can never be resaved as a vector file, and you will thus lose your ability to directly edit the figure and freely change its resolution. This is why if your research image originates as a vector file, you should always save it in a vector format and create copies saved as TIFFs, PNGs, or JPEGs. Ensuring that your figures are of the highest quality can be tricky, but keeping these few tips in mind can go a long way. To recap, be sure to keep a copy in the native or vector format, and when submitting your figures for publication, always pay attention to the file types that your journal or publisher requires for the type of image you are submitting. In most cases, for line art, they will ask for a vector. For more resources on research figures, visit AJE's Author Resource Center.